so we're full of sadness that you're no longer here, your influence still guides us, and we feel your presence here. What we shared will never die. It lives within our hearts, bringing strength and comfort while we remain apart. And fills you with that feeling that says, he's always near. For if you keep those moments, you will never be apart. And they will live forever, safely locked within your heart. Most of you that are here this morning knew John. And you remember John for wonderful things that he did not only for the school, but for the students and the staff can only go by things that I have heard and all the positive things that he did. Personally, for me, I taught with him at Lonnie Walk Center. My family was with him and his family um, through their children. My daughter roomed with Christy uh, on the day that this occurred 10 years ago in college. Um, they were very close. Christy actually stayed with us for a full summer while she worked in the Dells between her senior year in high school and college. He, uh, he just really, and then he became uh, the principal of the building, um, was on his way to being superintendent. He really, and you guys are in pre-K at the time, so you probably don't remember, but he really uh, loved his community. Um, he loved Weston. Um, he, he wanted to make, he wanted to create a school where he, where new people could, could move forward in your lives and, and use your education to be the best that you can be. That's really what he was all about. He would love to see you guys and these kids and he would just get a laugh. And, and somebody told me a story that that he had a contest and, and the, the winner of that, a boy and girl could throw a pie in his face for a teacher's face. We should bring that back, by the way. Not, not an administrator, but a teacher. And, uh, and he, he was that kind of a person. He was fun. He went to all the activities. He was involved, um, and he really thought how important that education was, and that's why he put so much time into the schools because he really knew the importance of getting an education, moving forward with your lives, and and that's what he would be here. If you were here today, he would, he would tell you that, and he would acknowledge that, and he would he would model that. Um, I know I, I took brought the pie story, and Sadie Keller said, "Hey, I was the one that threw the pie in his face," and she was a second grade. Um, some kids took them one time. He had an art contest, and the kids took and taped them to the wall. But when they taped them, they also taped his mustache that he had on. So when he took them off the tape, they took her a little bit, I can imagine. So, so you guys are a freshman class, and, and um, you know, you know, we're here today. You dropped a flower here in his memory, and it was ten years ago. It seems like a long time ago, but for some people, it just isn't that long ago. And his family has a beautiful memorial here. As you can read the words over here, some of your families, I was walking around and I was reading some of the, the bricks here and I see some of your families have little bricks here and along the edges and stuff like that. So their, their memory of John 